there. I'm depressed. Hi there. Welcome to my comedic narrative. On today's one and only episode, I'll be telling you guys a funny story from my childhood. Well, I think it's funny. You might not. I've only got five minutes to get through this, guys, so let's just start. So there was a story that many of us heard when we were children. The five little monkeys jumping on the bed. I promise this video will get more interesting soon, but we gotta get through some context first. For those of you who never learned this song in kindergarten, allow me to enlighten you. So there are five monkeys and they're all jumping on the bed, wow what a shock, and one by one, each one falls off and hurts themselves. The doctor tells them to stop, but they don't cause... I don't know, beats me. And the song repeats like that five times. When making this video, I actually learned a lot about the history of the song. Like how the monkeys might have originally been stand-ins for... Hmm... <coughs> but that's not important right now. I'm just here to tell you why this song, and not whatever racist undertones it may have had, is relevant to a situation that I experienced. Oh, and by the way, for the purposes of this video, all the characters will be represented as beach balls! Because they're easy to draw. Let's flash back to when I was about... five years old. So I... was a stupid child, as many children are, making stupid decisions that I remember to this day, because your brain kinda does this thing where it remembers things that make you question how you made it through your life this far without dying, instead of remembering that one math formula you need for your final. You had one job. So anyways, one day, my sister and I were goofing around, just having fun, and I had the brilliant idea to start jumping on my parents' bed. What could possibly go wrong? Everything. Everything could go wrong. So, we're jumping on the bed, and everything is fun at first, but then, for whatever reason, I decide to jump off the bed. But being the uncoordinated beach ball that I am, I end up slamming my face into the corner of the desk, which cut my eyebrow open. So my parents come rushing in because their parents' senses were telling them that their child has just done something stupid, or it could have been me screaming at the top of my lungs, who knows. When they said we had to go to the hospital, I tried to play it off like I wasn't in agonizing pain. Like, psh, what are you talking about? I'm just bleeding profusely from my eyebrow, I'm fine. They take me to the hospital anyways, and I remember freaking out when the doc said I'd be getting stitches. And... I don't really remember what happened next. Either I passed out from blood loss, or the doctors gave me anesthesia so they could start operating on me. And when I woke up again, I was completely fine. Like, actually fine, not just pretending. So now, my eyebrow was all stitched up, and I'm not sure if my little child brain could fully process what happened to me, but the important thing is that I didn't die, and I also learned a valuable lesson. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Until a few months later, when my sister and I were jumping on the couch, my sister fell off and broke her arm. We're so great at learning from our mistakes. Oh, and by the way, this is a video I'm making for an English project, so if any other random person on the interweb happens to stumble upon this video, this will probably be the only video I'll ever make. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna make a career out of this. 